Hi, so hopefully you've seen my last video, which was about uh, how to schedule a Teams meeting using Outlook desktop client, uh, using the calendar. And what we now want to do is say, okay, well, I don't have Outlook desktop client. How can I schedule a Teams meeting for people to attend when I don't have that? And when I haven't got an option for calendar or meetings inside Teams itself? Well, there's a tricky way to, to do it. So it's, a, it's a workaround, but um, it does work fairly effectively. And I'm going to demonstrate how you can actually do that. So you, you, what you would do is you would jump into the team that you uh, want the meeting to, to, to be held in. Uh, typically, it'll be inside a channel, inside a team. So uh, what we'll do is uh, go into the general channel under this Teams for Yammer users. And what we do is start a new conversation. Now, I've told you before, always use this A button to start conversations because then you get control of adding subjects and putting details in and pressing the enter key to move down a line and so on. Uh, very handy. But a good idea is, okay, what we want to do is schedule a, a meeting for tomorrow, for example, at 3 p.m. And we want it to be for the people that are in this particular channel. And the way we do it is like this. So if I go in here, instead of going new conversation, what I could do is make an announcement. And that gives me a nice headline in here. So I can say team meeting uh, 3 p.m. Thursday, uh, the 28th of May. Okay. Uh, if I want to, I can do fancy things like this as well, where I've got a, a picture to make things interesting. Let's say it's uh, this one here, done. And that now gives me a nice fancy banner that everybody is able to see. Um, please join us for this meeting in this thread. And uh, if you want to, you can actually alert people. So go at channel, means everybody that's in the channel is going to get a, um, a notification, a little bell will pop up next to their thing. And if they've got uh, email notifications turned on, they'll get an email about this meeting 3 p.m. Thursday, and they can add that to their calendar for themselves if they want to. Um, but what we'll say is here, um, this meeting is about blah, blah, blah agenda, one, two, three, etc. Um, what we then do is post this. So the meeting here is Thursday, 28th of the 5th. Please join us for this meeting in this thread. Okay, so all that we've done is made an announcement to uh, let people know that this meeting is going to be on. Now what we need to do is send people an invite, but we're going to do that not with Outlook, but with Outlook Webmail, because people have got Outlook Webmail. This um, is now a conversation entry. And what you've got here under more options is copy link. And copy link will now let me go into my Outlook Webmail. So here I am in Outlook Webmail and I can go um, calendar and I can say tomorrow at 3 p.m. I'll just move myself out of the way. Uh, 3 p.m. is here. And I can say the event is whole team meeting. And excuse me. And uh, location is Microsoft Teams. And the attendees are whoever. I'll just put myself for now. Okay, uh, it's going to be 30, 30 minutes. I'll give people a reminder. And what we'll do, move out of the way, please. Um, we'll say, please join us on Teams here, and then Control V, the meeting, and that pastes that into uh, an email. So now if I send that, I could have added a whole lot of other people, but what I've now got is a whole team meeting on Microsoft Teams. So then tomorrow comes along, I'll get an alert to say, hey, you've got a meeting, and you'll click in here, and it will say, please join us at the meeting. Now, you as the um, meeting host 
it's a really important task that you need to get in before everybody else because all that you've done is you have um, sent people to this particular thread. What you now need to do, I'll just move myself out of the way again. What you now need to do is come in here and reply and then you need to click the meet now button. So I'll just turn myself off here and we'll go to the meet now button. Add a subject is whole team meeting and that's it. Press enter and I am now in this meeting ready for other people to come and join me when they get that invite. The other important thing I want you to have a look at before you get everybody else joining the meeting is this button up here. I've shown you this in a previous video, manage permissions. It'll chuck me into uh, my browser and it will allow me to say who can present. I don't want everyone, I want only me to present. And that means other people can't take control of my meeting and cannot stuff things up. So hit save on that, close that, go back to your Teams meeting, and now other people that are in uh, will be attendees rather than participants, and they can't do things like share their screen and control the meeting in any way. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, that's just another way that you can schedule a Teams meeting if you do not have Microsoft Outlook, but you only have Webmail. Okay, see you then. Bye.